Would you like to create a survey within your Salesforce account? Let me show you how with JotForm. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you don't already have JotForm with your Salesforce account, you can always get started for free from within the app exchange. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my next tab, my JotForm tab. And we're going to need to create a survey in order to collect that data. So for this, I'm going to choose that orange create form button. And we have a lot of different options to choose from, but since we know that we're wanting a survey, I'm gonna go ahead and use a template for this example. Now, if there is a specific type of survey you're looking for, you can always utilize the search option to search within our template gallery. But another way that we can do this is over on the left-hand side, if we scroll down right here, we have our survey template. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose our survey templates. And you can see that it even broke it down even more. So let's take a look at our satisfaction surveys. And let's go ahead and look at this employee satisfaction survey. Good deal. Let's go ahead and use this template. I'm gonna choose that use template button in the top right-hand corner. Now, because we utilized a template, it's not connected to Salesforce yet. So all we need to do to connect it to Salesforce is click on the integration button on the right-hand side underneath our form designer. So let's choose our Salesforce integration. And we have the option of creating a record or finding an existing record. I'm gonna keep it on create a record for right now. Next, we need to choose which object. I'm gonna head over to our account object. And the first field it is mapping is going to be that account name. So it wants to know which field of yours do you want us to use as the account name? So for this one, we have the full name. You could also choose just the first name or the last name. We're gonna choose the whole first name. And if there are any other fields that you would like to map, you can always add a new field here and choose from your object fields, maybe like the parent account ID. Maybe we can have their department. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do a next. And it's wanting to know, do you want me to look at the existing records and see if there's anyone there to avoid duplicates? So let's go ahead and turn that on just in case. And we're gonna look at that account name to see if there's any duplicates. We'll save. So now when we click on the name, we can see that this name field is connected to that account name. And then as well as their department, is with that parent account ID. So let's go ahead and give this a test. I'm gonna head up to the top right hand corner where it says preview form. And I'm gonna click the fill form button. And let's go ahead and head all the way down to the bottom. We'll do submit. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and exit out of the preview form. Now, not only is this data going to be within Salesforce, all of this data from the survey is also being kept in JotForm for you. So if I head up to the top left-hand corner, you can see we're in the form builder. If I jump over to tables, we can see all of Johnny's information, all of his survey responses right here from within JotForm. But let's see what it looks like over on the Salesforce side of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my account tab. And here we can see Johnny's information. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to create a survey within Salesforce utilizing JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.